Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about notifications upon state changes in a larger application that spans multiple routes. In a previous video, I had already explained how to pull out the state management into a provider. So it's outside of the material app widget. Now the problem here is when one screen makes a change to the state in that provider data, another screen that uses the same data might not get a notification upon these changes. Therefore, it will not trigger the rebuild of the screen and it will show outdated information. Now there is a way around that to ensure notifications are propagated across the different routes. Let me explain. So this stateful widget represents one screen, one route in our application. So it's a stateful widget, that means there is an external uh, widget that is a state, so it extends state. That way we have the functionalities to set state and trigger notifications to all the different widgets in the widget tree that need to be rebuilt based upon a change in the state of this information. So we have pulled out a majority of the state into a provider class. That means it's outside of the screen and that way it's available to different screens as well. It will still work and the set state and the notify works when we make a change on this information on that screen. So it gets a bit more difficult when we have different routes. So in this example, route A and route B, different screens showing the same information in a different way or one edits information, the other one only displays it and that information is pulled out into a provider. Now we use a navigator to navigate between these two routes and the problem is when route A, that screen, makes a change to uh, the information in the provider, it will be notified or we can use the notify functionality of the state object to notify all the widgets in route A. However, if we navigate from route A to route B, we make a change to that information and then we navigate back to the, to the route A, route A will not be notified and route A will show outdated information. The way the navigator works is basically it takes your page, puts it they say on a stack, but it's really more into a freezer and you use another page. When you're done with that one, you can take the old one out of that freezer. And the problem is it has the same state as when you put it in the freezer, even though the world around it might have changed. So once you take it out of the freezer, you need to unfreeze it. You need to notify it of all the changes that have happened in the world, meaning in the provider state. So how do we do that? So far our provider implements change notifier that allows the provider to notify listeners upon changes in the state. Now we add navigator observer to that. Navigator observer allows a class, in this case a provider, to listen to events from the navigator. So for example, a route is popped from the stack or taken out of the freezer and we can act upon that event. With that combination of navigator observer and change notifier, we can notify listeners based on navigator events. That means when a route is popped, so taken from the stack, we can notify the listeners in that route on any changes in the state that happen in the meantime while the route was on the stack. So for this, the provider needs to implement not only change notifier but also a navigator observer and that allows us to override the did pop function and add the notify listeners to that one. Now in order to get these notifications from the navigator we need to register our provider using that navigator observer in the navigator observers attribute of the material lab. So that's a slight modification in the main.dart file where we normally just create the providers. We have to create it and also register it as a navigator observer. So with these minor changes, when we navigate back to a previous route, the route is refreshed, 
getting a notification of all the changes that happened to the state while it was on the stack. If this video on the Navigator Observer is helpful for you, please like this video and leave a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.